want. I record everything. <laughs> they limit <laughs> themselves. Yeah. They create a universe you can do anything in. So a Gears universe, a Halo universe, right. a Star Wars universe. Right. And but they can't go past what they current. The, the hardware is limiting the developers from expanding okay, beyond what they're doing right now. At That's the same time, look at PC. You know, Battlefield Three. Yeah. Focusing on the PC. Yeah. I think they're showing love to the PC. That's what I think. Well, it the is. PC needs love too. Yeah, no, it's been Battlefield Three is going to be a perfect example of what I'm trying to talk about. The the PC experience of Battlefield Three will be superior to an Xbox 360 and PlayStation experience. So Just what well. you're saying is that the mm. consoles need to become PCs. Yeah. But let's use an example for my side. Star Wars is one of the most far-reaching universes we have in a fictional right. sense. Right. We have movies, we have games, we have books, and each of them is their own little world inside that universe. Right. And even though the game mechanics may suck, and sometimes the stories do too, there's so much potential and there have been very successful games to be in the same universe but completely different time, different place, different potential for what could happen. And that's part of why franchises like Star Wars succeed. It's because right. they say, here's your thinking ground, here's the basic facts, do whatever the hell you want with it, and people take it and go every which way. And that's why we still see new stuff. But you get all of these games where they're so stuck in where they were that they can't step out of it. Because, we, and you're bringing it, you're making my point for me. But you're making my point for me. It has nothing to do with the hardware. It here, 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 no, here, here, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Star Wars. Star Wars is the great example of that. Let me explain why. Why? Old Republic. Is it coming to the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3? No. Want to know why? Because the hardware okay. limits what they're Explain trying to do with to it. Explain to me how the hardware limits them from taking games like Gears and Halo and creating something within the universe, but completely different from what exists. What about the hardware? Want to know why? Because they're trying to hold it off for the next hardware. BS. BS. I don't they think so. They just People can't step out, out of it. They just can't step console, out of it. Console gaming has in this generation has yeah because they've hit their ceiling but i don't think the yeah. hardware definitely affects it the hardware does but i think at the end it's their willingness to step out of where they already are they're in this little box that is their <laughs> halo universe and they can't go past that not because the hardware won't let them but because they just say well why do that when we know this works and that's why star wars succeeds is because even in the console games that suck they're willing to step out of the box. I, I agree. I, I agree, <laughs> but I disagree. And here's why. If I, I'm gonna take Can Epic, go I'm gonna Let's take Epic on. as an example. All right, so Epic's coming out with Gears of War three. So they're done with Gears of War. You know, Gears of War. They're going to something else. Why would Epic try and and try out a brand new IP, even if it's in that same universe, that comes up with these great ideas and, and expands upon what they're doing? when the, the current piece of hardware is probably dead in the next two years and it's going to have to go okay. to the next console you would wait and take that idea and when it's on the new on the new piece of hardware when but you you get a nice five six seven year lifespan with that franchise that's true but part of that isn't even as much the the hardware as the length of the time is that if you put it on that system and it's not easily um forward compatible or whatever you want to use for it to the next system it's not even that the hardware isn't capable of what they want. It's just like, why do that? When you can put it off, improve on the mechanics of what you're creating, and at the end of it, have something come out with a new system and be a draw factor. I guarantee you this current this current development cycle of games right now, there are ideas that certain developers want to do, and they're like, you know what? We Let's not implement that on the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 right now. Let's wait until the next hardware. What about the next hardware like Nintendo HD? Is it going to be a big enough leap beyond what they currently have, though? We don't know yet. Well, we don't know. Yeah. It's probably a big leap, but in comparison to the Xbox and PlayStation, maybe not so much. But we've been at the same point with these games for years. I mean, really. Halo 3, we'll use that as an example because a lot of people have hated on Halo 3. It came out in 2007. That's right. four years. Right. That's plenty of time for them to step out of that box and it hasn't happened. Okay. Okay. And it doesn't even have to really do with the hardware. I just thought of the perfect example that brings up my argument in this. What? Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, which is the engine that we're seeing now, came out in 2007, right? Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Treyarch, none of them have done anything to advance that series beyond what it originally was in 2007. Want to know why? Because it's too much money and too much development time to create a new engine to 
put it on this current hardware when you can just simply wait a couple years and put it on the next one. Ooh, Maddie, ooh, 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 Maddie, ooh, 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 something new, you're gonna start charging you. Okay, first yeah. off, that's irrelevant because this is Call of Duty. <laughs> and second off, that you can't even really apply that because granted, Call of Duty comes out every year. Look so at they're Battlefield. screwing themselves over, but Battlefield is putting out a new yeah, engine. Exactly. I mean, yes, in terms of Battlefield but 2 to PC, Battlefield 3. PC is the lead. But platform. It but it came from PC, that game. Exactly, right. Console. But that's my point again. PC, they can do that. Because that hardware is constantly changing. But they're not saying that that engine is only for PC. That engine is being applied yeah. to the console. But they're downscaling it to be able to work on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Whereas if Epic is going to take the Gears engine, they're going to have a completely new engine at this point. See, Valve actually has it right with the source engine. Valve doesn't create a new engine. They constantly tweak their engine as they go forward. And they update their games as it goes forward. Look at Half-Life 2 from what it was when it originally came out to what Half-Life 2 looks like right now on the source engine. It almost looks like a completely new game. Huh. That's the proper way to do it. But again, Valve's a, a native PC developer. That's why they do that. Not console. Wait, I uh, still this is like one, no? You won or she won? I won. I won when we was back there. <laughs> Clements. No. Hey, what are you going to do your Sony predictions? When? Later on a few. 